Hi, I'm Tom Hadrick, and I'd like to welcome you to the premiere of the Atlas Model Railroad Company's Product Arrival Showcase. In this ongoing series, we'll be introducing you to the latest Atlas products arriving now at your local Atlas dealer. To find an Atlas dealer near you, use our convenient dealer locator found at www.atlasrr.com. This first video will highlight Atlas freight cars and locomotives in N, H, O, and O scales that will be available at your favorite Atlas dealer starting July 2012. Stop back on a regular basis to see additional product showcases and be sure to follow Atlas on the internet on both Facebook and Twitter. Now, sit back and enjoy the view of some of the finest model railroad products around in this, the first edition of the Atlas Product Arrival Showcase. Originally introduced in the solid steam period of the 1930s, the 55-ton Fishbelly Hopper car thrived until second-generation diesel days and formed the backbone of some of the great coal-hauling railroads. Atlas O's version captures the nostalgia and heritage of the unique model in true quarter-inch details. In 1995, Trinity Industries introduced a new center sill design covered hopper car designed primarily for grain transport. The new design was visually quite different. This one featured curved sides versus the previously familiar rib sided design adopted from Holman Standard. Currently, the design is still in production with over 27,000 units being delivered, and this model stands as being the most popular grain car in today's market. Introduced by American Car and Foundry in the mid-1930s, the 70-ton covered hopper with a 1,958 cubic foot capacity offered an improved design for the transport of dry bulk goods. The car proved to be widely popular and could be found on most major rail lines. The cars led very productive service lives until the 1970s and some may still be found in maintenance of way online service today. Based on a popular boxcar produced by American Car and Foundry from the late 1940s through the mid-1950s, this model is representative of the thousands of similar cars that ran on virtually all North American rail lines. The 40-foot sliding door boxcar, considered an American tradition, was originally built to transport goods in the harsh weather found in various parts of the United States. Berwick Forge and Fabricating built over 23,000 freight cars in its nearly 20 years of existence in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Their designs were very successful, and most of the cars are still in service today. While Berwick built virtually all modern types of freight cars, they are perhaps best known for their 50-foot and 60-foot boxcars. This Atlas O model replicates the interesting series of 60-foot high-capacity cars that were built by Berwick in the late 1970s. These high-cube cars featured centered double-plug doors and a waffle pattern on the car sides. The Thrall Car 2743 Gondola was introduced in 1995. This new 52-foot, 6-inch interior length design was in response to the newly allowed increase in gross rail loading to 286,000 pounds. This allowed an increase of the inside height from the previously standard 5 feet to a new standard of 5 feet 6 inches, giving it a 2,743 cubic foot capacity. Thrall produced over 6,700 of these from 1995 to 1999. The design resumed production under Trinity Rail in 2005. In today's economy, there are strong demands to move freight faster and more efficiently. Atlas's HO 45-foot Pines trailer will get the job done on your railroad. Built in true scale dimensions, the model is extremely accurate painting and printing. Features include two sets of landing gear, fully extended or retracted, hinges and latches, rivets, rear bumper detail, and more. The first all-steel cabooses built for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad were produced in 1937 by the Magor Car Corporation in Clifton, New Jersey. 
Magor, along with St. Louis Car Company and ACF, ultimately built a total of 350 cabooses for the CNO using a similar design, the last of which were produced in 1949. Through subsequent rebuilding and modernization, many remained in service through the end of regular caboose usage in the 1980s. Cabooses of a similar design were also built for Pair Marquette, Missouri Pacific, and Chicago and Eastern Illinois. The first RS-11s were produced by Alco in early 1956. This locomotive, classified by Alco as model DL701, was their replacement for the very popular RS-3 road switcher. Featuring a V12, 1800 horsepower, 251B diesel engine, the RS-11 was Alco's answer to EMD's very successful GP9. Their turbocharged RS-11 accelerated faster, had a higher tractive effort rating, and typically used less fuel than the competition. It was also quite versatile and could be found in heavy haul freight as well as passenger service. A few examples of this model are still in service today and can be found working for various short lines in the U.S. An increased use of shipping containers during the 1970s led to new designs of railway cars for carrying them. The standard cars used at the time were full plate deck 85 foot and 89 foot flat cars with 70 ton trucks. However, each 20-foot international shipping container of the era could gross some 25 tons, thus a flat car carrying four at maximum gross would be 100 tons. In an effort to address this weight issue, new flat cars with open decks and 100-ton trucks were placed in service and eventually used for a new railroad commodity, trash containers. Atlas's new 85-foot model follows the open deck flat design commonly seen in trash trains around the United States. The model also follows the prototypes used in international container service. For more information on the products you just saw, as well as other great Atlas products, be sure to visit us on the web at www.atlasrr.com, or you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back next month for more exciting arrivals from Atlas.